your news choice right now. We're coming to you here out of our office here in Gastonia. Uh, let's talk about some news right now that broke over Mother's Day weekend. Uh, out of Cleveland County, we're talking about it now. Uh, Cleveland County, a, a Tyler was shot during apparently a drive-by that happening on Mother's Day in Cleveland County in the Lundell area. Here's more of that story coming up right Let's now. See. It's just heartbreaking. As of right now, that two-year-old boy is still in the hospital. The shooting happened at the home behind me, just down the road from a church. The sheriff said that a bullet likely went through the window or the siding of the house. We need to keep that child in our prayers. This is unfortunate and uncalled for. An absolute tragedy, especially on Mother's Day. It's a sad situation. The call came in Sunday morning around 10 a.m. When deputies arrived to this home on Douglas Street, the damage was already done. They found a two-year-old boy shot inside the home. We are treating it as a drive-by by the way it was actually called in, but it is extremely a fluid case and it's changing rapidly. The Cleveland County Sheriff Alan Norman says the boy has serious injuries but was awake at the scene. The boy was taken to a local hospital before being flown to a hospital in Charlotte. Joseph Lee lives next door. He found out what had happened in church. Hit to the gut when it was said, yeah. Two years old, he was just over here in the yard yesterday on his little tricycle. He was telling me about riding his bike. He was just a lovely little boy. The quiet neighborhood is still in disbelief. Lee saying these days there's too many guns and too much violence. And nothing happened around here in years since maybe the early 2000s. So they needed to put the guns down, whoever did it. And at this time, no arrests have been made. This is still an active and ongoing investigation. If you have any information, you're asked to call the sheriff's office. Reporting in Cleveland County for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. Here's another store we're working on as well. You may have been in the store and know a couple of items, uh, household items, or prices beginning to rise here locally here in our area. And here's more a little bit on this story coming up right now. This year, those homemade Mother's Day brunches weren't only served with love, but likely a bigger grocery bill. Compared to last March, coffee is now an average of $4.67, up 8%. Eggs, up 7%. Bacon and bread, both up 11%. Chicken, up 10%. Sarah Grabsky is a mom of two girls with another baby on the way. She says her grocery bill has steadily increased the last year. It ranges anywhere from 20 to $50 more expensive probably than, than six months ago, which when you're making a few trips each week, you know, that, that adds up. The Grabsky family is lucky. They have a way to cut corners. Yeah. They get meat and dairy products from their farm in Erie, Pennsylvania. But recent price hikes on other essential items have forced Sarah and her husband to take a second look at their budget. We've had to rework some of our finances. Um, I have been planning dinners differently. The higher costs of raw materials, shipping delays, and gas hikes have led some of the nation's largest product manufacturers to raise prices. Procter & Gamble, which makes Pampers and Tampax, says customers will see up to a 9% increase on its baby and feminine care products. Coca-Cola and General Mills both say the cost of their products will also go up. According to experts, the savvy shopper can still find ways to cut a growing bill. Use store brands. They're often produced in the same factories as the national brands that you're familiar with, and they are a whole heck of a lot cheaper. Unfortunately, the price hikes don't stop at the store. If you are working from home, those long Zoom meetings aren't the only thing making your power bill go up. The price of electricity has risen 3% since last spring. A shock to consumers nationwide, with summer just around the corner. Yeah, I, I actually went into the store myself and noticed a couple of uh, items is on the rise. Uh, also, let's have a check up on our forecast right now. Currently, it's 77 degrees right now here in Gastonia, and we are tracking some rain. We do have a, a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Gopher, Gopher County in uh, North Carolina, and that should be expiring any moment now. 
at the four o'clock hour. Uh, so that is something we will be uh, monitoring is these pop-up showers and storms that will turn our focus to our weather center with me once again as I make my way over to the weather center. I have your complete detailed weather forecast for the day and tomorrow.